Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're excited to provide an overview of the new firmware updates in Addis 4.1. Let's get started. Here we've made significant amendments to three features. The first feature we have revamped is the DTR Activated Boost Zone feature. Previously, you would have seen the boost zone visible as a single dark green box. Now, in Addis 4.1, you will see three color-coded brackets, spanning from yellow to orange to red, which indicate zones 1, 2, and 3, respectively. This change enhances the visual distinction of each zone the Nucleus team has coded into the core profile of Addis to enhance roasting precision. Each zone is designed to run at a specific rate of rise. The value that each zone will reduce from the ROR minimum is shown in the right-hand corner. You can turn this feature on or off in the preference menu. Additionally, we have allowed for the activation of these zones to be set by either time or DTR. Setting by time is suitable for a regular user who does not typically manually log the point of the first crack. Setting by DTR activation is for a more advanced user who wants a precise development percent. Either trigger priority allows the three zones to provide better control over curve consistency and heat increase during the development phase by adjusting the minimum rate of rise setting in each section accordingly. Let's move on. The second firmware amendment is to the fan adjust. In Addis 4.0, the addition of fan adjustment was a crucial update, but this function was limited to only being utilized at the start of the roast. With Addis 4.1, you can manually adjust the fan at any time during the roast. Simply access fan adjust with two clicks of the menu button, then use the plus or the minus button to increase or decrease fan speed. This feature will be useful if a user wants to make manual adjustments in real time during the development stage of a roast curve in order to better match the reference profile, especially if the anti-stall feature is enabled and the roast curve is deviating from the target profile. It is recommended the fan speed should only be manually moved once or twice during the roast and in small increments, usually between 0.005 and 0.015. Adjusting the fan manually during roasting should only be done by experienced users with a good understanding of its effects. Should you want to see the impact on your sample's oscillation, different fan adjust settings have. We have added a fan adjust preview feature to the menu bar. This mimics the effects of your altitude trim setting combined with the fan adjustment whilst not applying any heat source to the beans. Just so you know the confirmed setting here will also be pre-saved when you go to roast. Saving the need to put it again. This is for one roast only. And as usual, when the roast is complete, the fan adjustment will reset back to 0.000. This brings us to the last firmware controlled feature. Automated fan adjustment. This one is new. AFA is designed as an enhancement to manage the development stage of roasting. This allows users of any skill set to benefit from fan adjustments that are automated and tailored to the specific roast plan you are using. Similar to the boost zone, AFA has the option to have the priority trigger by either the time or the point at which DTR is logged and can be activated or deactivated in the preference menu. Just so you know, this will be deactivated when you first load 4.1 and you will need to select Enable in the Preference menu if you want it to run. So how does AFA work? For this feature, we have set a staggered increase in the fan RPM coded into all the core profiles of Addis 4.1. When enabled and we reach the time or DTR trigger, it has been set to activate from. The fan RPM will automatically increase at certain incremental stages towards the end of the roast to improve Link's precision in replicating the default curve. You can now see the fan's real-time RPM as the roast occurs on the live log in the studio. 
This zigzag indicates the effects of the AFA feature. Incrementally stepping up the fan. Note that it is entirely expected that the fan will vary its position on the graph if you are roasting different batch sizes or using different roast plans. If you cannot see the live RPM curve, make sure the graph box is selected. Lastly, select the standard view checkbox to display all data points on the same screen. And that's a wrap for the Addis 4.1 firmware overview. We hope these improvements enhance your roasting experience. As always, happy roasting.